was a lonely place for women when Nancy Pelosi was first elected to the House. I remember um, very, very clearly watching the panel grilling Anita Hill in uh, 1992 and thinking, this isn't America. This doesn't represent America. We need to bring the values and experiences that all of us have in common as women, as mothers, as daughters, as sisters, as friends. It's important for you to know the roles that Maria and Diane and Barbara Mikulski and all of us who every single day are working for you and for the values that we share. Now, of course, the Republicans are counting on the women of America to win this election for them. They think that we will stop giving money, that we will stay home, that we will hand them a huge congressional majority on a silver platter. We are not about to allow the United States Congress and the United States Senate to fill up with a bunch of right-wingers who are against everything that we have fought for and died for all our lives. Because of Emily's list, we are going to have another voice. Ladies and gentlemen, Majority Leader Tom Daschle. The reason I'm here today is the Senate Majority Leader can be said in two words. Mm -hmm. Emily's list. He is a strong, thoughtful leader who is taking Democrats and the Senate into a direction that protects families, that protects jobs, that protects the future economy of this country. When Tom Daschle leads the United States Senate, he has 10 Democratic women at his side. And together, they are a powerful force to protect families and women's rights in the years to come. When I come back down to Washington and I see the numbers of women, I'm, I'm thrilled. I feel so good about it that I kind of ooze with pride from all of my pores. We were much in the minority, especially minority women you see here. Uh, it took us quite some time to get into the Congress. If it were not for Emily's List, I would not be here. Emily's List, uh, those two words are like thunder on the ground in terms of an endorsement across the country today. We made history. Now we have to make progress. When I saw Nancy Pelosi sworn in as whip, I knew that we made a difference. I knew that by electing all those pro-choice Democratic women to the House, we had made sure that we had the power to elect a woman to be our leader in the Congress. It really makes you feel wonderful. It makes you feel empowered. It makes you feel uh, responsible. It makes you feel a part of the American dream. God bless this house. God bless America. The wonderful thing about Emily's List is it's not about how much money or how much power an individual has. We work together, and our collective force and our collective support is making history for pro-choice Democratic women. Power up for women. Power up for families. Power up for victory in November. Power up.